Hello Arky guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be unboxing a jewelry jar that I got from Goodwill. Uh, I just noticed that my Goodwill has jewelry jars. This was 20 bucks for this and we got the vase and uh, we just got a house and we don't have any vases so that's cool, you know? I don't know. Anyways. Uh, I'm going to show you a little close-up of the jar here, and then we're going to get on into it. Alright, we're going to cut off the tape and do it. I don't know uh, fully how I should do this, if I should aim you guys down at my stuff. Can I, can you see, oops. <laughs> Man, my camera is lovely. Okay, so um, this is kind of a top-down view. Here's my coffee. I got some other stuff, but that's going to be in a live um, video that you will have already seen. So I figured it'd be nice to get into this baby here. i got to get all this tape off. Here we go. Ah. All right, we can finish with that more later. Oh, jeez. Now you've completely fallen. Oh, oh, my God. Okay. The camera fell, but I fixed it. So we should be good now. Okay, let's go. Uh, I don't know if I should dump it out or just put it out piece by piece. So the first thing here we have is this vintage necklace. And it's not new. It just has like a card on it because of what Goodwill does. Pop that off there. Originally they were charging $275 for that, which I think honestly is a little ridiculous. I don't know if we're going to find any gold or silver or anything. Oh, this is cute. Oh, it's two little bunnies hugging. Look. How adorable is that? That is quite cute. Adorable. Feels nice. I don't see any markings, so I don't think it's a precious material. We will set this guy aside here. That's really adorable. It's got some weight to it. It's a little heavy. Here we have a stretchy ring. And... It's engraved. Not really sure what's on there, but we got that guy. So that's three pieces so far. Here we have another stretchy ring. And this one is a big, beautiful flower. Like that guy. He's pretty. And then we've got some kid rings. I don't know why I think my camera's on that side. <laughs> and then this is a cross pendant. It's quite big. It's really pretty as well. Like little glass panes. Adorable. Here we've got our first vintage brooch and I think there's a couple in here and that's why I picked it out because I haven't had any vintage brooches for you guys for a while. It's unmarked. So we got that guy and then this one I could see and this one made me kind of excited. It is not marked but it's quite beautiful. got that brooch and then we have a couple pendants oh that thing in there looks kind of cool so we got this snowman funky looking and then we got this little mother of pearl guy Oh, 
with some shine. Looks like we got some earrings. They don't appear to be marked. And we got another little baggie here. Oh, I was trying to throw my whole hand in there. This is another brooch. This one's pretty cool. Another pair of earrings. And these are definitely like those vintage enamel kind of dudes right there. And Thrias thing. Oh, I want to get down in that thing, but I don't know if I can reach it. Let's see. We've got a wood bead bracelet. Whoops. Goodbye. Hope you don't want to see it because he's gone. <laughs> Found it. Here we go. So we got this guy. And then we have a wood bead necklace. And I might have to start dumping some of this out. We got another pair of earrings. They're like a heavy uh, gold tone metal. Chain links. Those are pretty cool. And then we have a bracelet that says things on it. Dream big, be everything you want to be. And this is by Good Works Make a Difference. It's a really nice bracelet. Okay, here's this thing I've been eyeing. This thing's gorgeous. Can I get it out, though? How did they get it in there? Oh, my God! I want to... <laughs> I don't want to break it. Oh, it's, like, stuck on stuff. Okay, we can, we can do this, gang. We can do it. Oh, I did it! Oh, this thing is really cool. Check out this cuff bracelet. Vintage, beautiful. It's a metal bracelet, and it has, like fabric on it and little things here so I put it on and it is so cute <sighs> I'm obsessed I'm glad that wasn't stuck in there I would have cried, probably cried we got some more earrings these are just some fabric earrings and what else we got in here Whoop. we got some more chain link guys except for these ones are silver tone and then we've got ooh, these beautiful vintage enamel babies and they are for pierced ears and then we have another necklace uh oh oh no <laughs> we've got some ah. there we go so we've got this necklace, which is purple and silver tones. Gorgeous. That's a nice piece as well. And then we have this super long metal one. And it's in a knot at the bottom, but I think it's meant to be. Definitely metal. What's next? We have a maybe bone? No. Probably plastic. Plastic meant to look made to look like bone. It's a stretchy bracelet and it is carved out at the top. That's an interesting piece. Ooh, my fingers don't go all the way down in here. Oh. And then we have another pair of earrings. Those ones are really cool, too. Oh, jeez. Let me just throw it down. Oh. We got this big guy in there. I'm a tangler. These are acrylic plastic as well. So we got that necklace. Oh, we're almost done. Oh, this guy's weird. I think this might be resin beads. It's kind of cold, but it's not glass, and it's definitely not stone. 
It's a nifty bracelet though. And then I think there's one more thing in here. And that's gonna be these earrings. Ooh. And three random pearl beads. <laughs> and the last thing are these earrings. Which I quite like. They're pretty. All right, guys, I'm going to count them on up and tell you how many pieces I got. So there was 28 pieces, which means I paid approximately 71 cents per piece, um, which is more than I typically um, spend for jewelry usually, uh, unless it's silver. Silver has a higher price there. Um, do I think I'll be able to get my money back off this jar? Yes. Do I want to buy any more jars? Not particularly. Um, there's two things I'm going to test for gold, but they're probably going to come back negative. And uh, two things I think I'll test for silver, but nothing is marked that I saw. So I don't think I got lucky that way. Um, I really, really, really like this bracelet. And uh, I'll bring all this stuff to the auction and then whatever you guys don't want, I will list myself. I love you guys. Thank you for checking out this video and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.